The categories of community organizations are probably the most important thing to know in this presentation because this is the resource from where you'll uh, start your project, but also this is the information that you want to grow and expand upon so you can help the students and families in your classroom. At the bottom of the slide, you'll see that there are three main groups of organizations. Those are our local agencies, the things directly in our neighborhoods, our state agencies that are encompassing all of Pennsylvania, and then our federal agencies for the entire country. Um, and we will receive group, uh, services from each of these categories. Um, many times you don't even realize where they're coming from, but all of our families and schools can benefit from these three types of agencies. As you can see, they're linked, so you can click on local agency, state agency, or federal agency to see a list of some of the services provided by these different departments. Um, that's not all their services, but it's a pretty good, uh, can give you a pretty good idea of where these services are coming from. Above our three different types of agencies, are four different categories of community organizations and many of these will fall within the state and local and federal agencies but I want to talk specifically about these four categories. The first category is our business and commercial enterprises and these are the businesses um, and services in our community that you as a teacher may be visiting um, local pizza shops, um, any kind of retail stores, ice cream parlors, and also industries. I know locally in York we have lots of different um, industries and some of them provide services to schools. A, a big one right in our area is we have a t-shirt, uh, like a graphic printing shop, and they work hand-in-hand -hand with the schools and keep them very busy printing t-shirts and sweatshirts and hats and things for all the different sports teams. Uh, we work with local photographers for different you know, photography services. Uh, we, the list goes on and on and on. Um, but you may be wondering how, as a teacher, this is important to you. And you know, we want to pull together our families and our communities and our schools uh, so they can support one another. And uh, one of the ways that I did that is I often reached out to local businesses. Uh, one of the ways I did that in my kindergarten classroom is on the 100th day of school, we made hats with 100 different items on and the hats came from a donation from a local uh, paint store that had these hats that they sent their painters out wearing when they were painting in homes. And they donated 26 hats to my classroom. And in turn, all they wanted was for us to put their name in the newsletter that shared that they had donated the hats. Uh, we wrote a thank you note in turn to the business and they posted that on their wall. And many of the families went out to the store and saw the thank you note and thanked them personally. Um, so we were building partnerships between a community business and our school and our classroom. The students were getting out and they were meeting people in the community and seeing the different services and goods that they had. Uh, so it's a really easy partnership to reach out. Uh, I know many pizza parlors would donate pizza to your classroom. Um, a lot of different businesses produce something that you can use that they would donate in small numbers. Uh, just today I went to Wise Markets to get brown bags to use for a project and they make that donation all the time. Uh, so we want to connect our community and our families and our classrooms. The next category is pretty simple. It's transportation services and we want to be able to provide families with transportation options if they don't have cars and um, we can link them up with services that can help them get to after school events or evening events um, during the day, even events at the school. Um, or maybe they just need transportation services for other reasons and we can be that resource to help them know what the different options are in your community. Sometimes it's uh, something that we get at the state level, uh, but other times it's just something local that can be provided, whether it be bus services or car services or, organi or organizations that are volunteering their time driving different people around. The third category is social and cultural agencies. And you can see that the cultural part is linked to some... Um, different cultural agencies in the community. This encompasses a lot of the services that we may need to provide families with if they're in need of assistance in any way. So many cultural agencies uh, include museums, 
and churches and anywhere where we can enrich the learning experience for students. Uh, we also can work with different organizations culturally to see if they come into classrooms for free, to see if we can have field trips in their area, uh, that they can share their knowledge and um, anything to enhance the learning experience for the students. This includes theater as well and music and anything that would be outside of the regular curriculum areas. Um, many times also these agencies provide services. So sometimes uh, our cultural agencies fall into the social service agency category. Uh, and that would be if churches are providing services, things for free, free meals, free clothes, um, free hygiene products, a lot of times that we have that. Social agencies are very closely related to cultural agencies. And they're just another way to educate students uh, outside of the regular classroom. So different kinds of scouting organizations and clubs, um, trips that are organized in your area through the library or uh, another organization that reaches out to families. Uh, also any kind of organization that provides camps or extracurricular activities that are based upon hobbies and things for students fall under the social agency area. Um, and sometimes these are provided for a fee, but many times uh, they have scholarships or free programs, uh, especially through the local libraries. Lots and lots of different social uh, programs are available for free to students. So we want to keep families informed. Uh, a place in your newsletter might be a great place to share what cultural and social events are going on in the community. Uh, and if they are free, especially sharing those with families so they can get out and do different things and you can expose uh, your students to different learning opportunities. Last but certainly not least, and probably the biggest agency is the social service agency. And these are the agencies that provide services and programs that improve the well-being of individuals, families, and communities. Now many of these agencies uh, fall into the three categories at the bottom. So they might be local, neighborhood, community organizations that will help homeless, stu homeless students, homeless families, um, families that need assistance paying their medical bills or um, paying their electricity bills. Uh, we also have organizations that will provide free internet to families uh, at a certain income level so their students can do their homework at night. Um, so a lot of those fall under the local and state agencies, uh, but some of these are federal programs out there, including things like Head Start, uh, our Keystone Stars program, um, Children and Youth Services, lots of different programs like that are social services that help the, the students in our, in our communities and our schools. Uh, sometimes we have to you know, help families find the services that they need. Uh, they might not be good at finding those on their own. Um, so for the recreational and educational kind of services, we're only enhancing the experience, but for the services that are needed to keep up the quality of life that we want our students to have, uh, a lot of those are really important to keep families informed and it's our job to help them out with that. Please be sure to follow the links that are on this uh, slide and that'll get you started for the per the project that will be introduced at the end of this presentation.